Alright, so the second episode of Book of Pooh has just finished airing. And the first one got quite a poor perception or reception. Because lots of people didn't actually like it. And I liked it enough, it was alright. But I can understand where people are coming from. Definitely wasn't as good as The Mandalorian. But this second episode was actually really good. It rivals some of The Mandalorian episodes. And is better than quite a few of them. Now, this episode starts off in the present day. With Boba and Fennec. And they want to find out who sent the assassins so they threatened to release the rancor on him but it is empty but they only open one of the cage doors meaning that there could be another rancor we know Muchi, the rancor that the bad batch saved in the bad batch animated series could still be alive but yes yeah, so there's sort of teases and hints that a rancor possibly being around then we finally get to meet the mayor after years and years well not years but a lot of speculation about this mayor. We knew he was the Iforian, but we were lots of questions and puzzled about who he is and what his stakes in the story are. Now he's a very interesting character, but yes, yeah, so the show was pretty, pretty good. And the first episode it kept its sort of cards at its chest, like they didn't really reveal much. But the second episode reveals a lot of narrative and things that possible things that could happen in the rest of the episodes which i will talk about in different videos now back to the this second episode so we are then greeted by the um huts so two huts have cl- taken a claim to jabba's territory saying oh we want to rule jabba's territory i mean it's been a while after his death so they should have probably claimed it off bit before tuna but yeah they've said oh we want to take it but he says you have to kill me then they show the one and only Black Chris Sutton, who's a character from the comics, he's a Wookiee bounty hunter who's had fights with Obi-Wan and Boba Fett and other different characters in the past. And here he's doesn't say anything, he just sort of stands there. But that's a really cool little reference cameo that they have. Hopefully we'll get to see him in action. Hopefully we'll get to see some other bounty hunters like Cad Bane and Embo in action and Boss maybe. Now, this is pretty cool, but then we go back to the flashbacks, and we can see more of the Tusken Raiders, and how they play in, um, Boba Fett's story. Now, there's lots of stuff to go over, so I won't go over all of it, but basically, Boba helps the Tusken Raiders from some, sort of, the, he, we also get to see those Nikto Raiders, but they're not the main villains, it's these pikes, who are transporting spice on a train, but the, they keep shooting the raiders, so Boba and the raiders sort of like, sort of Magnificent Devils 7 style, he trains the raiders up to use speeders, they infiltrate the train, capture the leader, and then tell them not to attack, and then they're so proud of Boba that they give him his gaffy stick, and his robes, and they sort of suit him up, and he's off to go on whatever adventure will happen in the third instalment of the book of Boba Fett. That's all for today's video, if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and also subscribe, comment what you liked about this most recent episode of the Book of Boba Fett and I'll see you in the next video, peace out.